so I guess uh, going along with that, this is my first time at scale, by the way. It's a fantastic conference. So uh, before I get started, when the next slide appears, there's going to be a picture on it. The first person to yell out what they see in the picture wins six free internets or something. So, all right, so if you don't know who Bloomberg is, we are a global company that produces a bunch of different things, financial services, products, media, news, all kinds of things. But the most important thing is we have 5,000 people writing software. So we are heavily involved in open source. We do lots of things. But as you've probably all heard, Michael Bloomberg, who's the founder of our company, is heavily into philanthropy. What is it? Come on. No, 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 no. What kind of event is this you're looking at? It's a hackathon, right. So what we have here is two hackathons, one in our New York office, one in our London office. They happened on the same weekend. They had about 75 Bloomberg employees. They had 20 or 30 people from these open source communities and about 20 or 30 students from nearby universities who all came in on the weekend to hack on scientific Python open source tools. This was a lot of fun. This was actually, I think, our seventh event doing this. The reason we do this is at Bloomberg we have a culture of volunteerism. So we have, as you can see, numbers there, I won't quote them all, but we have thousands of employees who contribute all kinds of time, but um, up until four years ago, they never had the opportunity to contribute that time to open source projects. We've now given them that chance. So we've done this for, well, the ones you saw there. The next slide is going to list a bunch more logos for more projects that we've done this for and we're planning to do more this year. Interestingly, we get people come in on a weekend, even when the weather's nice, to write software, even though they write software all day long every day. We're crazy people, aren't we? We do this kind of stuff. So these are all communities that we've contributed to. We are continuing to contribute to them more. We obviously use all of the tools from these projects, which is why they were important for us to contribute to. And so when the slide changes, you're going to see what we actually produce out of this. And then I'm going to talk about what it takes to put on events like this. Part of the motivation for this is we want to get more people involved in open source projects. For those of you who still remember the first time you tried to contribute to an open source project, it's a little scary. You're a little, you know, there's, there's some trepidation there. You don't know. Are you going to send a patch and they're going to flame your patch and you don't ever want to contribute again? Doing it in a group environment where the people who are going to review your patches are sitting right next to you and helping you make good patches is just amazingly powerful. We have had events where people's patches got merged into the master branch of the project just in an hour after they submitted the patch. It was wonderful. So these things for running these events, these are easy, right? We have offices. We can provide food. We can provide water. We can provide Red Bull. We can provide all kinds of things. And of course, internally to our employees, we can advertise these things really well. I'm hoping the slide would change there. Dang, it wasn't listening to me. <laughs> so um, now I have to wait. Wait. Oh, there we go. The harder things, finding out when you can do this. People have lives. Amazingly, people have lives outside of writing software. It's crazy. People have conflicts and all kinds of other constraints. We have to bring people in. When we did this project, we brought in, I think, a total of eight project leaders from those projects, literally paid for their travel to come to our offices and put them up in hotels so they could be there for the weekend to do this. So obviously, they have schedules and families and those things. And interestingly, we found that a lot of big, many open source projects, including big ones, have no good place to advertise events like this. So you end up having a really hard time getting the word out. Now the really hard parts. We do surveys in our engineering teams. Which projects would you like us to do these events for? I get the results back. I sort them by popularity. What's at the top of the list? Apache Spark. Apache Spark is a fun project. How many developers out of 5,000 do we have that know Scala? Six? Eight, maybe? I mean, it's ridiculous. We would never be able to contribute effectively to this project. So those are the things we have to work through to make this happen. Obviously, our goal is patches, getting more patches up. As we've done eight or nine events, I think we've probably produced 150 patches so far for a bunch of different open source projects. And I'm trying to encourage more people to try to do these things. If you work for a large company that has a volunteer program of any kind that, so, that contributes to charities, that you can even convince your human resources department to give you whatever you want to call it, comp time, time off, whatever, for in return for contributing to an open source project in an organized way like this, please encourage them to do so. If you're interested in contacting me to learn more about this, you've got contact info there. And if you want to see the full version of this talk, there is a video on the FOSDEM 2018 website because I gave the full talk there. Thank you very much.